All right, this is going to be a quick tour of G plus Hangouts. Um, so we're going to go down to the more section here in G plus. And so um, I have a previous video about <clears throat> these various parts of G plus. Um, what you see first when you go to um, Hangouts is these are a bunch of Hangouts that people are publishing on air, as they say. And what that means is there's a little checkbox, and I'll show you the checkbox that you can check, and that publishes the Hangout to YouTube, which basically means that um, people can view it streaming live at the time, or they can, I think it can be recorded and then archived so that you can um, uh, view it later. So I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a Hangout, and there's obviously a couple of different places here that we can um, start a hangout with but we're going to click on the big red start a hangout button one of the things i'm going to try to do here is i'm going to try to uh, hang out with myself in a sense and so i'm going to um, use my ipad to hang out as well and so it's going to suggest a bunch of people to hang out with um, and i'm going to choose nobody this is that uh, checkbox here that you could possibly click so that you're publishing the Hangout on air. I'm not going to click it. There are some options here. I think all it is is uh, restricting minors from accessing the Hangout. And I'm not going to bother hanging the Hangout right now. Um, I'm going to actually hang, name, uh, name it Test Hangout. So I'm going to click Hangout. And now I'm hanging out. So as you can see, it's showing my uh, video down here, video feed. Um, you can turn that off here. So if I click off on the video feed, then it doesn't show me anymore. You can mute your microphone. Um, there are some other settings and things, but uh, I have plenty to talk about, and so you can explore those on your own. Um, I can invite people. Uh, I can invite people by clicking here and then typing their names in here. Um, I can drag people from my circles. I can uh, do an entire circle of mine, so I could go physics PLC, um, and that's how I, we've done uh, invitations to the PLC um, hangouts that I've had. Um, but then the other cool thing is that you can actually post this entire link somewhere and then anybody with a G plus account, which is basically a Google account, um, can join the Hangout then. So I've uh, done things where like when we were first starting the PLC thing, we didn't have a set number of members and I just would post this link on Twitter and then anybody who wanted to join did. And in fact, I had some a random person drop in once just to check it out, which was kind of fun. Uh, other things, so we can chat in a G plus Hangout. So you can be chatting over here, hi, um, while you are um, in your Hangout. And what's nice about this is that it lets us, uh, like what we do in my PLC is we will post links and things over here. Um, so if we're talking about a particular website or whatever, somebody might post the link to it. Um, and that happens uh, at least a number of times per um, every one hour meeting that we have. Um, you can screen share, and when you go to screen share, it pops up with this window and it lets you choose which one you want to pick. So you can pick the desktop, you can pick this particular window, this is pop-up hangout window, or you can uh, choose a regular one. I'm going to show you what happens though if you post the, the hangout window. You get this kind of infinite um, thing happening where it's taking the video um, taking the video from my screen and then trying to post it. Oh, so if I show you, so by the way, you can double click on anybody down here and it will show that screen. But so as soon as I show that screen, now what should happen, I think, maybe, come on now. Well, apparently since nobody's invited, I can't actually view it. There we go. Oh, I thought it was going to let me. There we go. And so you can see it's doing this uh, kind of infinite thing as if you're looking in a mirror, which is pretty funny. Um, so I'll stop that now. Um, but so you can screen share. It's a really nice feature to be able to screen share. Um, you can share stuff in Google Drive, and so we've done some collaboration on Google Drive documents. I'm not going to do that now because I'm trying to keep this kind of short. Uh, Hangout Toolbox. This is something that's brand new. Um, literally, I just found out about this. Didn't know that it was here until um, really a couple of days ago. Uh, but what the toolbox has is a bunch of extra little features, some of which are just kind of trivial, but some of which are kind of neat. So you can do things like the lower third. And the lower third, as you can see, is it adds my name or whatever I want. So I can put um, Casey Rutherford. Uh, you can type in this box usually, but it's kind of uh, not being happy with me right now. So there, so you can see it's it's actually mirroring mine right now for me because uh, it wants me to be able to see backwards. Um, I think I can turn that off. There we go. Um, and so you can do things like that. Um, you can, I'm going to take that 
off, you can change volume individually. This is really nice. So what will show up here is a list of all the people in the Hangout. Um, <laughs> reserve power. And what happens is that you can change their volumes individually. And so what happens sometimes is there's somebody who is doesn't know what they're doing and they have a lot of background noise or something and you can change things there. Uh, a bunch of meme faces. This is actually really dumb but funny at the same time. It'll, this meme face will follow me around, which is kind of funny. Um, so it's just really dumb, but you know, whatever. And then there's a bunch of different sound effects. Um, so we had fun in our PLC playing with this a little bit. Um, really, really pretty silly. Um, and then you can, okay, wow, this is cool. I didn't even know this. So you can share things here, um, which is really interesting. Um, wow, cool. And so there's lots of neat stuff here in the toolbox. Um, I'm going to make this quick because I'm running out of reserve battery power. Um, I should really turn off that meme. Um, and so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to join this Hangout um, on my iPad. I think I can. So I'm going to go home. Sorry that I'm just... There we go. I am currently hanging out, but it's not showing up on here. Well, I was going to show you what it looks like when somebody joins a Hangout, but apparently I'm not going to because it's not being... It's not uh, currently popping up for me on my iPad. I'll go to Hangout. Um, nope, it really isn't. So, anyway, um, those are the main features of G+. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, and so you have to um, kind of just explore for your own. You can add apps. Um, I've looked into this a little bit, so you can add a bunch of different things. Um, and you just have to kind of play with them to figure out what you want to do. SlideShare would be a way to share PowerPoint slides, for example. Well, not necessarily PowerPoint slides, any slides. Um, so you could give a presentation as a G Plus Hangout or whatever. I think that is enough things um, for you to kind of be able to get started with G Plus. Uh, hopefully we'll have some times where we can do a little bit of synchronous meeting to kind of play around with G Plus Hangouts a little bit here this week.